This is Jared Horak, and this is my latest Kentucky Derby video report. It's April 20th right now. We're two weeks from the Kentucky Derby. We had multiple horses have derby works today. I'm going to talk about some of those works and then also some other derby news as well. So if you're interested in checking out my Kentucky Derby and Kentucky Oaks reports, head on over to todaysracingdigest.com. When you get to their front page at the top near the left, you're going to see a Kentucky Derby tab. And when you click on that tab, it'll take you over to the Digest Derby page. And there you will be able to read all of my Oaks and Derby reports. Every Monday, I update the Oaks, and every Tuesday, I update the Derby. If you're interested in my Triple Crown Series full cards, that those annual full cards will be available at the runawayhorse.com. Kentucky Derby Week, my Kentucky Derby full card will be available. I have a pre sale going on right now. Uh, so if you're interested in purchasing early, I'm going to try to get some analysis in, into those early files and get that out as soon as possible. Some of the full cards that I'll be covering for Triple Crown season. Kentucky Oaks Day at Churchill on May 3rd. Kentucky Derby Day uh, for May 4th. Uh, for Preakness Week, Black Eyed Susan Day, the day before the Preakness on May 17th, and then Preakness Day full card on May 18th. And then the Belmont Stakes is going to be at Saratoga uh, this June. And they're going to have the four-day Belmont Stakes Festival at Saratoga, June 6th through 9th. They're going to cover the full cards for all of those. And then I'm also going to be doing some full cards from Santa Anita and then uh, Del Mar later this summer. And then the Breeders' Cup, obviously, at Del Mar later this year as well. So head on over to the runawayhorse.com on my sales page for more details. And now we'll start talking about some of the workouts of the, or, that happened earlier today. Sierra Leone, one of the top Kentucky Derby contenders. He's actually my top uh, derby horse, and he has been uh, since early February. And he had a nice workout at Keeneland today. Four furlongs in 48.80, 19th best of 127 with a strong gallop out. Now, mostly what I'm looking for in these uh, final derby works, I just want to see the horses have good energy and gallop out nicely. They don't have to have a strong bullet workout. I just want to see good uh, energy and the horses heading into the derby the right way. That seems to be the case with Sierra Leone. Good work at Keeneland today. Now he's going to ship to Churchill. And uh, for him, uh, they're going to be schooling him at the gate because uh, prior to the bluegrass stakes, he was holding up the start. He wouldn't go into the gate. Uh, he was having some issues there, but they did get him in, and he won that race. He's won both of his starts this year. He's three for four overall with a nose defeat. So Sierra Leone, they paid a bundle for him. Uh, he's got a good record on the track. He's a strong closer. He, uh, everything's gone right for him. He hasn't missed any workouts, any races, uh, everything that they've scheduled right according to plan for trainer Chad Brown and Sierra Leone uh, coming up to the Kentucky Derby the right way. Catching freedom for trainer Brad Cox. He worked five furlongs in a minute point eighty, twentieth best of seventy one at Churchill. Solid enough work. He's never been the flashiest work workhorse. Uh, prior to the Louisiana Derby, he did have some better workouts, and this one was solid enough. We'll have to see how he does in his final Derby work. He got a decent a uh, late kick. He's he's a horse that if the favorites like Fierceness and Sierra Leone don't run their best race, maybe he could take advantage, especially if the pace is quick. Just a touch for trainer Brad Cox. Lightly raced, unraced two-year-old. Three starts uh, with a win and two runner-up finishes. He won his debut, and then he was second in the Gotham Stakes. It's my top choice. And then he was second to Sierra Leone in the Bluegrass Stakes. And in that Bluegrass Stakes, he stalked, he led, and then Sierra Leone ran him down there. Uh, he had a four for a long work in 48.20 at Churchill, 16th best of 123. Uh, that was a maintenance move. Uh, I think he's going to do more in his final derby workout next weekend. Stronghold had a strong work in Southern California for trainer Phil D'Amato. Four furlongs in 46.60. That was a best of 68 bullet workout. And his connection said he was full of energy. That's what you'd like to hear. He looked good in that work. And he's one that is always in the top three in all of his races. And then he has back-to-back -back victories in the Sunland Derby and the Grade 1 Santa Anita Derby. He's, he's not as fast as the top contenders in, in the Derby, but he's one that's getting better and possibly getting good at the right time. Domestic product, Sierra Leone stablemate. He worked four furlongs in 48.40, third best of 37 at Payson Park. It's his fifth workout since the Tampa Bay Derby. Now, the Tampa Bay Derby was on May 9th. And after that race, they, th they thought they were going to run him again, but they decided, no, we're just going to train him up to the Kentucky Derby. Five works since that race, 
two bullet works and then another good work today. So he's training well, but both of his starts this year were races at a mile and a 16th. And both of those races were slow, early, fast, late. The first one was the Holy Bull, and he ended up rallying to finish second behind Hades, who stole that race from the inside post. And then Fierceness did not have a, a great start wide trip, and he ended up finishing third there. And then Fierceness would come back, and then he would romp uh, out of that race in the Florida Derby. And then a domestic product came back and won the Tampa Bay Derby. And then Hades has disappointed in two starts since. So then domestic product in that Tampa Bay Derby, that was slow, early, fast, late. And he was stalking the pace and he was able to get the job done in a blanket finish. Domestic product's getting better. We just don't know how good he is because of those slow pace races that he comes out of. Training well, and we'll see how he can do in the Derby. Chad, Chad Brown is high on this one. Just Steele for trainer D. Wayne Lucas. He worked a flat mile and won 40 flat. Uh, that was a Churchill. Um, average workout, nothing special there. He's a horse that's very experienced, the most experienced horse in the field, fairly consistent. He has decent tactical speed. He's just kind of a one pace grinding type horse. And if he can just get out there and get into a good stalking rhythm, maybe he can hit the board for trainer D. Wayne Lucas. Mystic Dan had a fast workout at Churchill, five furlongs in 59 and 40, best of 71. That was more of a fast, early, slower, late workout. Also, he, they were really going well at the beginning. Uh, for trainer Kenny McPeak, and we'll have to see what kind of style that he's going to use in the Kentucky Derby. Based on this workout, maybe he's going to show some decent speed. He used to show good speed earlier in his career, and then his last couple starts, he's been a bit more relaxed. And then this workout, uh, he was uh, he was really rearing to go there, and uh, he was working fast early. So we'll have to see if that means that he's going to be up on the pace in the Kentucky Derby. A uh, door knock uh, for trainer Danny Gargan worked in company with Society Man. They both went four furlongs in 48.20, 16th best of 123. Um, for Society Man, he's probably a bit overmatched in the Derby. Doorknock, uh, he was able to defeat Sierra Leone by a nose in the Remsen Stakes. That was a key race last year, but that was a wet, uh, sealed track. Seven horses wired the field, including Doorknock, who was able to have that lead. Sierra Leone made a big run from off the pace and passed him, and then Doorknock came back and won by a nose. Uh, but this year, uh, Doorknock was able to win the Fountain of Youth Stakes. With that race, it was scratched down to five horses. All his main uh, competition ended up scratching out of that race. He controlled the pace, and then he came back in the Bluegrass Stakes, and he ended up finishing fourth. Uh, Sierra Leone won that one nicely from off the pace, and then uh, just a touch was second. Epic Ride was third, so Dornock disappointed in that race. He's going to have to elevate his game endlessly for trainer uh, Michael McCarthy. We'll have to see if he runs in the Kentucky Derby or if they don't run in the American turf stakes at Churchill the same day. Uh, he's so far, his career, uh, turf and all-weather ground. Um, he's worked at Churchill, his third work at Churchill. Five furlongs in a minute point eighty, twentieth 20th best of 71. The time looks okay. When you look at the workout, at the end, uh, he was uh, not uh, finishing well at all in that workout. He, he did his better work in the earlier going. And if you look at his action in all three of his works, he's more of a horse that looks like he has a turf horse action. And uh, that makes sense because he really is a turf and synthetic type horse. So we'll have to see if they run in the Kentucky Derby or they skip the Derby and decide to run in the American Turf Stakes. He has more than enough points to run in the Derby. He has 100. Uh, he won the Jeff Ruby Stakes. Um, but we'll have, just have to see what, what they decide. Um, they could go either way. It, I guess it depends really on his final workout. Uh, some other horses, and especially one horse who may not run in the Kentucky Derby, is Deterministic for trainer Christophe Clement. Uh, he was eighth in the Wood Memorial in his third career start. He won his career debut at Saratoga at seven furlongs last summer, and then he came back off of a layoff, and he beat uh, just, a, uh, just a touch in the grade three Gotham Stakes, a one-turn mile. He got 50 Derby qualifying points there, and that got him into the field, uh, but then he disappointed as the be beaten favorite in the Wood Memorial last time. Hasn't had any workouts since that April 6th Wood Memorial. So we'll have to see what they do with Deterministic. Right now, it looks like they're probably not going to go to the Derby. Maybe they go to the Peter Pan if he runs well there. Maybe they uh, target the uh, Belmont Stakes. We'll have to see what they do. Track Phantom is another horse that hasn't had a workout uh, recently. His last workout was at Churchill on April 7th. He was fourth in the Louisiana Derby on March 23rd. And then he came back two weeks later. He had that work at Churchill. No work since. So we'll have to see if Track Phantom uh, doesn't get right back on that work tab. If he's in the Kentucky Derby, 
uh, for sure he's going to be a pace factor. Now the three horses on the bubble, uh, in case we get a defection from the Derby, so if a horse like Deterministic or Endlessly decide to not run in the Kentucky Derby, the next horse is in line, Grand Mo the first. He's 21st on the Derby list, just waiting for one defection to get in. And then we have Common Defense right behind him. And then Epic Ride. And Epic Ride is on my Preakness list. And you can read my Preakness um, reports that I do. I've done multiple Preakness reports at the runawayhorse.com on my Preakness page. You can check those reports out there if you're interested. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you like this horse racing content. And keep checking my YouTube channel. And now, we're, as I said, we're two weeks from the Derby. And every day I'm going to try to get as much content as I can, uh, Derby-related content on my YouTube channel. So keep checking out all of that. And my Derby full cards are coming up. Um, if you're interested in that, go over to the runawayhorse.com on my sales page for more details. And, and I also have a daily best bets blog at the runawayhorse.com. You'll see uh, better, uh, better bets, uh, free picks. You'll see the tab at the top on my homepage at the runawayhorse.com. Click there. You'll get a daily uh, best bet uh, that I cover on that blog. And until I see you next time, good luck at the races.